ever heard of the Global Times? It's a Chinese mouthpiece. Or in other words, you can say that it's a media platform for China to advertise and advance the Chinese propagandas. Why I'm talking about this? Well, Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO, is about to visit India. And he's going to visit India by the end of this month, April. And he's also going to meet the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But the special part of his visit is most likely going to be some sort of announcement about his Tesla manufacturing plant in India. You may be aware of this and I also talked about this in one of my previous videos that the government of India has heard and accepted the long asked tax cut by Tesla. Indian government had slashed what was it was 100% now it is just 15% custom duty to worry about which means the EV companies will now have to pay just 15% as a custom duty which was earlier approximately 100% on EVs costing either $35,000 or more. Behind this tax cut, the Indian government has clarified that this incentive will promote India as the manufacturing destination for EVs. So as soon as this tax cut or the rebate and custom duty went official, the Elon Musk announced the visit to India and that hasn't gone down well with China. China is not pleased with Tesla setting up its factory in India and is seething at Elon Musk for expanding Tesla's operations in India. Global Times, as I started this conversation with, claimed that the India's immature and underprepared markets and lack of adequate infrastructure would fail Tesla. Now, I would like to tell you this, that this is not the first time that the Chinese mouthpiece has shown how to fuse India. Similar comments were made when Apple decided to expand its operations in India. Back then also, the Chinese propaganda media had come alive, commenting that the iPhones from India would smell like curry. Basically, it's very hard for China to digest India's rise as a global economy and it is absolutely impossible for it to accept India as a replacement to China. Uh, well, I'm actually incredibly excited about the future of India. I think uh, India um, has more promise than any large country in the world. The, the takeaways yeah. from the meeting. Um, uh, takeaways from the meeting. Um, he really cares about India <laughs> because he's, he's pushing us to make significant investments uh, in India, which uh, it is something that we, that we intend to do, uh, and we're just trying to figure out the right timing. In a nutshell, um, it was a, a fantastic meeting with the Prime Minister, and um, uh, I, 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 I like him quite a lot. He visited our uh, Fremont factory several years ago, and so we've, we've now known each other for a while. So how do you see Prime Minister Modi's leadership role as far as making technology inclusive so that you know, digital infrastructure can be created? I, I can say he um, he's, he's, he really wants to do the right thing for India. Uh, he wants to be open. He wants to be supportive of new companies. Um, and obviously, but at the same time, make sure um, it accrues to India's advantage, which is, uh, you know, obviously th that's the job. <laughs> I'm saying he's, 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 um, I am a fan of Modi, so, <laughs> so I have what, to say that. What are your future plans personally? What do you look at as far as investment in, in India is concerned? Yeah, um, well, I think there's, there's a tremendous amount of uh, potential uh, for all three pillars of the um, sustainable energy future. Uh, the, th the three pillars being uh, sustainable energy generation through solar and wind primarily. And obviously India is great for solar. Um, and um, the amount of land area you actually need to generate enough uh, electricity to power India is, is very small. I, I believe it would be probably let 1 or 2 percent of the land area of India. So it's, it's very doable. Um, and then you need to pair that with... Uh, stationary battery packs uh, because the sun doesn't shine at night and then you need electric vehicles and then you have a sustainable energy future and I think it will uh, uh, the, the interesting thing people will find is that this is a lower cost way to go as well that may surprise people and, and we're also hopefully looking forward to bringing Starlink to India as well <laughs> so, you know uh, the Starlink internet yeah. uh, which I think can be um, incredibly helpful for um, sort of r remote or rural villages where they perhaps ha either may have no access to internet or the internet is very expensive and slow. Do you plan to visit India anytime soon? But like, did uh, Prime Minister extend an invitation to you? He, he did. Um, and uh, yes, I'm, I, I, I'm tentatively planning to visit India again uh, next year. I'm look at, looking forward to it.
Thank you so much for watching and liking the videos on the World Live. If you really enjoy and love watching the videos on World Live, I would request you to please express your love by saying something in the comment section. I would also appreciate if you like the videos for more recommendation. And please subscribe the channel for latest news and updates if you have already not done that.